Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to send PHP variables from one PHP script to another. There are multiple methods, but we are going to talk about primary methods, which are two methods and which are the get method and the post method. The get method is using the URL parameters to pass it to the another script while the post method is going to use a form. Let's take an example and check out how it works. Okay, so let's start with putting a link. Okay. Get method example. And let's make it center so that we can see it properly. So if I save it and so if I run it this in the browser, I can see that there's a get method example link here. Okay, and clicking on it basically does nothing. So we're going to pass some parameters when we click on this link to another script back to the code and the another script is php var 2 which we are going to use so let's say we have created another file called as php var 2.php and we are going to uh, go to that script execute that script when we uh, click on this link it's very simple to add the uh, php location uh, the file location to the href all you need to do is just type in here php php var 2 dot php now before we get to the get string let's check whether this works or not let's just save it and i'm also going to write a, a small statement here so that we know whether it's working or not okay so when i click on the hyperlink it's going to print the hello because it will move to the php var2 file let's check it out refresh this and click on get method example so you can see that it has worked the location of the current script is var2 not var1 and the hello has been printed out okay cool so now the second part would be to pass the parameters so if you want to pass the parameters just do like this name equal to Bob put a question mark give the name of the key and the value and put a equal to in between and if you want to add more parameters then age equal to 32 all right so this will be passed on to the php var2 but how will php var2 understand whether something has been passed on to it there's a variable called as dollar underscore get okay and i'm going to take the value of dollar underscore get in a variable and i'm expecting a name and sorry i'm going to just put name and then I'm expecting the age of the person dollar underscore get once again and age hopefully these parameters are passed correct and I'm able to get this so echo uh, let's put name dollar name is so this is a nice use of string dollar age old let's see whether it outputs the parameter or not save both these files and run it again let me go back refresh and then run it again wow and you can see we have passed the parameters to the uh, second script and also these parameters are shown here this is good but in a production environment always make sure that you use HTTPS otherwise these parameters are available for 
anybody who is monitoring the network to see it happens is the same case for post also so for development it's fine but during production make sure that you use HTTPS between these two scripts okay so that now if we have if you want to pass it using the post method so this was using the let's use PHP to comment it using get method and I'm using PHP and HTML in you know interchangeably so you can use you can write a PHP in HTML file or HTML in PHP file I have videos for that please check that out okay so now I'm going to use the post parameters so I'm going to use the HTML tag called as the form and the action of that form sorry action of that form will again be PHP var2 dot PHP okay and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two input variables name equal to name type equal to text okay and this is the same identification here as this one and uh, but it will go in a different variable we'll check it out and another would be input age sorry name equal to age type equal to text okay and the final thing is to submit it so we're going to use uh, input type equal to submit and name equal to submit and value equal to submit same thing okay so now let us run this form let's run this file and check what form it outputs go back it does input output a certain sort of form which is not very appealing but it will serve the purpose so if we just go into an inspect element we'll find that the first input has a name as name and second one has the age so in the war uh, php war 2 in the php war 2 what i'm going to do is I'm going to use a variable called as post so I will echo one more statement and here I'm going to call them name one and age one and dollar name one here would be dollar underscore post name and another would be dollar name two Oh, sorry dollar age one will be equal to dollar underscore post age so I hope that uh, the calling script sends these variables otherwise there will be an error and we should see another statement and meanwhile we can just comment these uh, get uh, example out and if we run this file once again and hope for the best we can say that Jen is 22 years old and if I press submit I get an error undefined index name okay so there's one small thing that is missing we have to use the method in here which is post and save it again and run it we have to refresh it again and say gen 22 submit voila so you can see now that I have used the post method to send the parameters or values from one uh, script to another 
and that there is no par uh, parameters in the URL. Pretty simple. Now there's a third case and that is what makes this video a little longer is that you can utilize get still. How? Just take this thing from here and copy and paste it here and in the PHP var2 remove the comments and let's check it out once again what happens now I'm sure you are already aware of it refresh it once again and type in gen 22 submit so you can see okay I did not put the slash in but the get parameters are used and the post parameters are used so you can mix them and utilize them to create a better looking application so I hope this was uh, easy enough for you to understand how to pass parameters from one application to another thanks for watching and if you like it please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends so that they can also learn something and thanks for watching bye bye